played shot from John Higgins there, giving something for Stewart to think about. Played the cross double shot to nothing, and he's gone in. Oh. Could have had a better kiss on the blue than that, though. He's still on the pink. turn round. If Michael Holt gets into the reds, he could well go on and win it as it is. One. Leon. Big uh, potential couple of frames coming up here. Bingham's already lost a decider today to John Higgins. Holt was beaten by Tipchar and New, 3 1. Oh. Terrific red from Bingham. Well, he's found something from somewhere. Another great pot, this. Good pot. One hundred and forty. You're being one hundred and forty seven in the frame. Brilliant. And to think Higgins was well placed about five minutes ago to make the play. Well played, shall we, Long? He played that exactly as he envisaged it, trying to come in behind the yellow, even though it was quite close to the bolt cushion, and kick it back down towards the black spot end. And John can't see all of this yellow. He plays it towards the left corner. You have to be careful not to leave it on. So he decides to take the pot on instead so and knocks it in as sweet as a nut. What a great pot. Blue or bolt colour here, whereas the other red to the right corner would be a little more risky. He really is cooing well, isn't what? he? My goodness. Yeah, I must say, I do enjoy watching him. I think he's got clearly bags of talent, bags of potential to improve. Well, we don't have the applause button, do we? But if we did, I'd have pressed it then. Easy snookers to late. Well, immaterial now. John Higgins decides to concede. So it's Sherry Long who does with a very useful effort in that second frame. 